Now, it's been just over a month since the government eased regulations to boost Korea's housing market, but there are growing concerns that it comes at the cost of more heavily indebted families. Our Kim ji y n has this report. Household debt rose sharply in August, raising concerns that it's spiraling out of control. Housing loans jumped more than 4.5 billion U.S. dollars in August from the previous month to 518 billion dollars. Household debt also increased by 5.2 billion dollars last month, inching up again after it surpassed its all-time high of 1 trillion dollars in June. The mounting debt is seen as a result of government measures that ease limits on the amount of money people can borrow from banks when buying a home. The move is part of the expansionary policies by the economic team led by Finance Minister Choi Kyung Han to induce spending and promote corporate activity. The expansionary policies were further fueled by the Bank of Korea when it cut its base rate by a quarter of a percentage point last month, ending a 15-month freeze. Critics say the government's policies will actually increase household debt in the longer term and ultimately stifle domestic demand as they encourage households to rack up higher debts. Although the finance minister did not directly comment on whether the central bank should make further cuts to its base rate, Che has reiterated the importance of coordinated fiscal and monetary policies to boost government efforts to spur economic recovery. To drive his point home, the ministry pointed to lackluster on-quarter growth of 0.6 percent in the second quarter. Kim Jeon, Arirang News.